Hey everyone, it's BuzzRail96 here. Welcome to another Train Sim World 4 livestream. I uh, hope you're doing well out there. Hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, for today's stream, we are in Germany and we're taking a look at one of the best uh, locomotive add-ons and certainly German uh, locomotive packs in the game and that is the DBBR 101 an electric locomotive that does passenger operations specifically intercity services so we're going to go and hop strike a Rheinra and maybe uh, a few more routes uh, and take the 101 for a spin so we're going to go on the journey mode intercity 101 uh, not that one we will do uh, We will do, I think, the first service here in this chapter, this intercity service from Duisburg to Bochum. I think that's what we will do. <clears throat> okay, this is this is at two forty nine in the morning. Uh, it should be daylight. Uh, you can see the sky getting brighter outside so we'll put the headlights on so put the brake key set this one locked put the train brake on I usually put it in step two unlock the doors I love this locomotive so very much I think uh, TSG Trains in Germany had a hand in uh, creating this locomotive, and it's no doubt one of the best. And plus, the coaches as well look uh, fantastic. Not oh, multiple unit method. No, we want headlights. Uh, I don't think we'll have the safety systems on today. Not in this journey. The first journey. Need to get myself up to speed. I've been on the game since Friday. So this is the 101. Just look at the detail. Look how weathered that is. It's just fantastic. There is a really cool uh, locomotive enhancement pack on the Trainsim community website, which really brings the uh, 101 uh, to a whole new level. Uh, certainly in terms of liveries. Oh yeah, we need to turn on the uh, train lights. Forgot about that. Now, the lights should be on inside the coaches. Yes, you do. Yes, it is. You've got uh, first two first class coaches and the rest are second class. That's the PIS display there, where we're going. What the stops are in between the destinations. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> hey Ben Davis, uh, nice to see you. Hope you're well. Let's go to the first station stop, which is Essen Hauptbahnhof. Let's roll. There we go. I know one uh, thing that is a bit of a downside as opposed to this DLC is that it doesn't come with a cab car because uh, sometimes uh, 101 in the city services usually have a cab co uh, a coach uh, it looks you know just like the coaches in the game but obviously has an, a cab at the end where you can operate in a push-pull formation uh, I know Dovetail tried to I suppose make the best of what is given uh, I think one of the services they have a 101 at each end so you can operate a push-pull type of service but uh, I think the AI just uh, do that service I can't remember which route it's on I think it's on uh, Hamburg Lübeck we've got wheel spin at 100 kilometers per hour Again, 
don't know why we're getting wheel spin at 100 100 odd kilometers per hour seems very strange to me i think that's a physics issue more than anything but uh, yeah over time uh, this 101 is becoming more and more useful on other german routes uh, it's not only Hauptstrecker Rhine Rail you can run this on, you can use it on Kohl Aachen, um, Hamburg Lübeck, Lübecker Dresden, Kassel Würzburg, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, uh, Bremen Oldenburg is another one, uh, I think that's it, but you know, that's, that's a decent selection of routes. Just noticed. Uh, I haven't turned the motion blur on. I've only now just noticed. What is cool is that Dovetail released a patch earlier this week that fixes uh, issues with the settings of the HUD. So thankfully every time I switch the game on, my preferred uh, HUD settings are uh, applied, which is good. They don't go back to default and I have to keep changing it every time I start the game up. So. It's, uh, it's good to see. It's come a little bit late, but you know, <laughs> uh, it's better late than never, I suppose. Uh, Bear Davis just came back uh, from Irby uh, Swanage Railway. Oh, Steam Gala! Oh, awesome! How was that? Was it was it good? Was the weather good? we will uh, have a plan for this stream is to do you've got two types of services we do on Hopstruck uh, Rhine of the 101 um, and then we'll run it on uh, a different route I'm thinking Neverka Dresden uh, first and maybe Castle Wurzburg but we'll have a little think I'll have a little think I mean, uh, today has been uh, crazy, but a wonderful day for me. Uh, woke up at four o'clock this morning, watched a Formula One. <laughs> Absolutely delighted with my beautiful Scarlet Ferraris winning and coming first and second, long overdue. But uh, I'll take it. That, that made my weekend in a nutshell. Brilliant. Just that one, two, three hour race made my weekend. Uh, then after that, I had to do some examinations uh, for the local dance school. I didn't have to, you know, uh, take part in any exams. I just had to uh, assist with the music side of things, which I've never done before. So, I finally managed to get through it in one piece. I had to even get my suit out and wear that. Goodness me, I haven't worn um, a suit in quite some time. But I welcome it. I do like uh, dressing up. Smart and dapper way. Very British. Oh yes, of course. Right, we're just under nine and a half kilometres from uh, Essen hub to Bahnhof. We will soon be able to accelerate to the new permitted speed limit, which is 130 kilometres per hour. Increase the power to maximum. Don't want to be late. So uh, for the 101's journey, we will be uh, once we stopped at Essen, uh, we will take the main line, the fast lane, as I call it, the fast line. That's for S-bound traffic. This is for main line traffic, so regional bahn, regional express, intercity, freight, all those kind of services. Hey uh, Samuel Smith, happy birthday, hope, uh, hope you've had a good day. First thing I think about when it comes to birthdays is chocolate cake. <laughs> Speed limit will now increase to 160 kilometres per hour.
surprisingly bright in the outs outside of the cab. I can actually see where I'm going. Usually at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning in the game, it's pitch black and you can't see anything. But this must be in the summer months, so uh, I can see a lot more outside, which is good. Whoa, don't go too fast. Oh, did you actually have it? <laughs> oh, that's fair. What a good guess. Yeah, you can't go wrong with chocolate cake. It's the only kind of cake I have. It's chocolate cake for my birthday. I've actually just had a chocolate cookie, actually, speaking of chocolate. I got given an Easter egg today. I can't believe Easter's next weekend. That is frightening. <laughs> Time is going by so fast, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Uh, ben Davis, uh, good weather and great days out, excellent, that's what I like to hear. It was uh, a steam gala, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a steam gala. Must have been good. I imagine uh, for next weekend, um, Easter, and they'll be doing some special like Easter themed uh, galas, be it diesel or um, steam, uh, not just on the Swanage Railway, but uh, other preserved railways uh, up and down the country. Got a speed limit of uh, 130 coming up. Just uh, two kilometres away from Essen Hauptbahnhof, the first station stop. Oh, yeah, chocolate brownies. Oh, my goodness. I had chocolate brownies yesterday. Only had a couple. Approaching Essen Hauptbahnhof. That's my fault. I was uh, afraid of uh, of hitting the red signal. I didn't think step two braking would be enough, so hence why I, I applied the brakes too full. We'll just creep up to the red signal now. We've got a bit of time, so we're uh, we are okay. There we go, that's better. Where are we actually meant to be going? No, it doesn't say. It just says Bockham. Uh, Samuel Smith might be getting link. Uh, oh, link Grindstrecker. Yeah, that's not a bad route from a driving perspective. It's a nice flowing uh, route. Yeah, that's a good word to describe it. It's a nice flowing route, especially on the uh, uh, the faster passenger services with the 103 
flowing along the uh, the Rhine River. And the 110 obviously does the uh, freight and more, I suppose, commuter style passenger services. And, you, and if you have the uh, Niedertal barn, you can use the 628 and additional services for that route, which is a nice touch. As of course, a uh, Link Reinstrecker is set in the early 1990s, I think uh, 92, 1992. Struggling to get up to speed here. There we go. My next and final stop is Bochum Hub Bahnhof, 14 kilometers away. Got wheel spin, ignore it, we will be fine. Uh, either that or uh, a Taranta Ram. Wow, I've been on Taranta Ram for good grief, years now. I always keep forgetting to do a stream on Taranta Ram. I must do that at some point. That's quite a cool route, uh, Taranta Ram. It's, te it's technically an extension to uh, Volga Dresden, because it goes from uh, Dresden to Chemnitz. Soon we'll be diverting off to the left. Taps. I reach the new permitted sp maximum permitted speed, which is 160 kilometers per hour. Uh, Samuel Smith, uh, mainly for the tilting DBBR 612, aka the bad version of the 390s. <laughs> A bad version. Speeding a bit here. Um, yeah, the, the 612 is uh, an interesting multiple unit. Not only is it diesel, but like you said, it has a tilting function. So uh, it's quite unique in that respect. Yeah, I mean, uh, if imagine if you were a driver um, operating tilting trains, it must be a weird sensation at first, a very weird feeling. Make you feel maybe a bit uneasy, maybe, unsure. Like if you're tilting, it's, it's kind of like when you ride a motorbike, I suppose, or, you know, like you see on motorbike racing and all that, you know, leaning in, maybe not, you know, as low to the ground as the, the riders do, but in a train, you know, tilting heavily to the right and all the left and at some significant speed um, it must feel pretty weird at first but I suppose uh, over time you'd uh, you'd get used to it I'd have to have a try with the 612 and the tilting function 
see if it feels different obviously now that um, on the PS5 with the haptic controller you, you might be able to feel it tilting I'm not sure about that it's, uh, something interesting I will try and discover uh, next week Uh, Samuel Spain, uh, uh, Samuel Spain, Spain, Samuel Smith. Sorry, uh, I ain't a fan of electric trains. I'm all kerosene. <laughs> oh, I see. You prefer diesel trains, basically. I don't mind really. I, I, I prefer loco hauled trains rather than electric multiple units and things like that. Um, but you know, multiple units. Uh, you know, they do, they do a good job, <laughs> a very good job, depending which one you are. Uh, cherry pick is your favourite, of course. Uh, I don't mind either diesel multiple unit or loco. Ah, oh, fair enough. I prefer um, loco, to be honest. We've got a red. Good thing that didn't accelerate then. Freight service there. Got some oil tankers taking them somewhere we will just have to wait out a red signal for a short time we are a little bit early for once. have to wait for the signal to change uh, we've got one service that's just leaving now it's probably regional express we've got a local service that's ready to depart so we'll probably just have to wait till we can proceed that's fine by me I've got two drinks tonight I've got a Costa coffee and a cup of tea Bit the uh, cost of coffee is actually uh, caramel flavour. That'd be nice. Right, we'll be given clearance to advance to the next station, the final stop, Bochum Hauptbahnhof. This is, it is a shame this route wasn't extended to uh, to Dortmund. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, Samuel Smith, the best locomotives, the class 33, the 66 and the 31. Fair enough. I like the 33. No doubt. That's a, that's a nice locomotive. In Trains in World, I presume that's what you mean. Uh, real life. Uh, 
yeah. Probably be a, a different list for me if it was in real life. <laughs> And here we are at Bochum. There we go. Um, Sammy Smith, the best diesel multiple units, the class 158. I can agree with you on that one. The class 142, yeah. It's a fantastic uh, diesel multiple unit, the 142, the Pacer. Um, I just don't like the Pacer, really. I just don't. <laughs> Uh, Sammy Swift, the best EMUs, uh, class 377, class 465, and class 323. Oh, I'd say the best for me out of those three would be the 465, definitely. 700 might come close to it, though. Uh, Regional Express has just turned up, or Regional Barn. <laughs> These coaches are just fantastic. The detail in it, it inside and outside, is, is just fantastic. I said fantastic three times in one sentence. But it is wonderfully created, the coaches. Wonderfully made. Okie doke, here we go. Got a gold, excellent. Let's return to the main menu. Yeah, I mean, those coaches, I think they're probably one of the best coaches in the game, personally. It, you know, just uh, like you said, with the looks, the sounds, the interior, it's brilliant. And uh, I am quite pleased that to see it return uh, to one of the newer train sim world routes in uh, the Semmering Barn, albeit in a different brand and different colour I think it's only uh, second class coaches that will be part of a uh, Link Reinstrecker um, not Link Reinstrecker excuse, excuse, yeah, excuse me Semmering Barn I really hope Dovetail don't screw that route up I am keen for that route whether it's good enough to part away 30 uh, 40 quid or however much it's going to cost them my money uh, remains to be seen. Okay. We will do this service here. A small intercity service from Essen to Duisburg. <clears throat> tea's gone cold don't like it I think I'll just uh, tuck into my Costa coffee a minute the caramel flavoured caramel swirl as it's officially known free advertisement for Costa right there <laughs> problem is I've got to now try and undo the lid All right, talk amongst yourselves. Just got to try and get this off. Literally, come on. There we go. All right. All right, that's the wrapping off the lid. Now I can undo the lid. There we go. Another little sip. Hmm. Wonderful. I haven't had a caramel swell cost of coffee in a very long time. Very nice indeed. All right. All right, let's uh, prepare the service for operation. 
headlights had to be reduced. Set the instrumentation, uh, the indicators, and the uh, what's the other one? The LED lights all to its highest setting in terms of brightness. Reverser in. Put the brakes on. There we go. Train lights on. Open the doors. I think it's on the left. It is indeed. Uh, we will set the signal lights to headlights. And we'll turn the CFR on again. Uh, we're in the rush hour period, so it's a little bit more busy. A few trains around. Quite a few. One, two, three, four. Obviously, us over there, it's five. It's not too bad. Could be much, much busier, of course it can. That's not too bad. Um, uh, Samuel Smith... Uh, Seems with it, oh, definitely improving the 170. I'm still not convinced to buy it though. Uh, ben Davis, uh, what do you think of the new Scotland route coming? Five circle. Wish they put the class 170 on on the two Scottish routes in the timetable. Plus, no frames and steam tours uh, as it's been missing. Yeah, I mean, I, I did watch the uh, the previous stream. Uh, we'll get the uh, route and the timetable out of the way first, my thoughts on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Disappointed is an understatement. Uh, that stream was a shambles. Uh, I couldn't care what people say. The fact that they had the wrong build uh, of the five circle line, just, you know, it tells you just how bad uh, Rivet uh were on that stream. I, I thought it was appalling. You know, I, I felt sorry for Mr. Pedalston, uh, Matt. You know, poor little soul. You know, must have felt incredibly embarrassed. Uh, you know, trying to what was it? Turn on the uh, was it the was it the PIS? Was it the it was the announcements, wasn't it? And obviously he couldn't get them to work. And the reason why he couldn't get them to work was because the announcements wasn't in that preview build which I think is I, mean, I, don't, I don't get that you know you're showing off a route one under what under seven days before its release it's the only preview you're gonna see before the route comes out and the fact you've got the wrong build a broken build with lots of things missing and you know it's not really a good look is it I mean you're trying to sell a product you know and uh, yeah is they uh, didn't do a good job with uh, selling it, that's for sure. Uh, the route scenery, I thought, was an absolute horror show. I mean, it was, it was, I was shocked by just how bad it looked at times. I mean, of course, there are some good bits that looked good, you know, uh, some good parts of the route that looked okay, satisfactory, uh, you know, like Edinburgh Waverley Station. Um, the five, uh, the five, uh, the fourth uh, bridge that looked, uh, you know, pretty decent. Uh, faithful recreation to the real world version. Uh, maybe the textures could be a little bit more high res on that bridge, make it feel a bit more weathered, maybe. Um, but yeah, just some areas of the route looked um, really, really bad. Like almost like um, the route wasn't even finished. Like. To me, what it gave me an impression that River tried to make a 52-mile route, you know, in in like a weekend, rather than a few weeks. Or it might have been only a few weeks, judging by the look of it. But uh, yeah, that route is not good, um, and it's put a lot of people off purchasing it. It's, it certainly put me off purchasing it because there's no way in hell I'm going to buy it. I mean, Rivet will have to do a lot of convincing uh, to get me to part company with my money, that's for sure. Uh, the timetable is a disaster, uh, very disappointed by that. 
what was meant to be on that timetable uh, a rail tour service that they said they were going to patch in I think uh, same goes for some freight services um, so even though it's nice to hear that Rivet say they're going to you know pump the services in after the routes come out um, but it's still very disappointing you know the fact that for the first I don't know maybe week or two the route's going to be pretty much dead because there's no there's no freight there's no rail tours um, there's no heck uh, and there's no services which do uh, I think a full circle of the Fife circle uh, that's probably down to maybe class 68 locomotives uh, doing those type of services um, which of course begs the question of why weren't they put in the route in the first place you know uh, that locomotive, the 68, and its coaches was part of the Five Circle in Train Simulator, and the fact it's not part of Train Sim World is uh, annoying to say the least. Um, I think there was, um, I think you can run uh, 385s from the ScotRail Express, you know, going from Edinburgh Waverley to Haymarket, God knows how many times during the day. Um, and speaking of Scott Rail Express, it's, it's immensely disappointing that you can't use or can't implement the 170 into the Scott Rail Express timetable. Which Rivet really should have done, but for some reason they have chosen not to do that. Uh, I think uh, the AI action in Edinburgh Waverley as far as the, the LNER, the Azuma, I don't think that was present in the build, it, it might have been, I, I probably missed it, it was probably hiding in a corner on a platform somewhere, but uh, again that's not being uh, implemented into the Scott Rail Express timetable, uh, it might do, you never know, but uh, not by what Rivet is saying, you know, there was a lot of no's to some questions on, uh, on that preview stream, which uh, I think just made me more and more glum and more depressed but uh, just disappointed you know a lot of no's rather than a lot of and yeses you know yes you can do this and yes and no you can do that um, there isn't any even depot moves for crying out loud like you know Jesus Christ since when did depot uh, runs you know uh, become such uh, a low priority you know it's one of the key things, you know, of operating a timetable is to get the unit ready for service or get the unit to take out of service. And the fact that they didn't even get any services or there isn't any services whatsoever of you taking the train to or from the depot uh, at Haymarket, uh, there isn't even any AI, you know, just static trains just sitting in the depot. It's, it's empty. So what's going on there, I do not know. So yeah is it worth it from the route perspective absolutely not five circle is a shambles uh i mean i know rivet have said they put out a statement saying oh they're gonna it was the wrong build and it's a better you know the 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 final version that will be shipped with the route you know uh, next week or you know a few days late next couple of days will be better than what was shown the previous stream it, it, it's too late the damage is done you know You've made a horrendous error of it, and uh, you're going to pay the price for it. You know, people, you expect people to pay thirty pounds for a route that, you know, maybe the route will look better, but the timetable certainly isn't going to look good uh, on day one. That's for sure. Uh, and touching on the 170, uh, you know what? To be fair, that 170, I, I, I listened to the 170 uh, version in Train Sim World. It's actually not too bad. It's not as bad as I feared. When I saw the first preview look around of the 170, I thought, that sounds bad. <laughs> you know, and PIS displays were broken left, right, and center. There were some areas of the train that had PIS displays working but were off center. And then there were some parts of the train which didn't even have a PIS display at all. <laughs> so, um, I, I like the fact that it sounds and looks better than uh, it was a few weeks ago so that I am pleased but uh, unfortunately 
multiple unit does not save uh, the five circle line at this moment in time uh, so overall is it worth 30 quid absolutely not it's probably not even worth half the money at the moment the unit may be good but the route uh, scenery is not impressive to me uh, and the timetable is very uninspiring it's as simple as that and uh, you know coming from a person me you know that wanted to see the five circle be brought to life in Train Sim World, very disappointed. You know, when you realise that the five circle line in Train Sim Classic looks and is a better package overall compared to the Train Sim World version, speaks volumes of just how bad Rivet games are at the moment, uh, which is a shame. But, you know, what can you do? They want to. They just want to keep pumping out stuff and uh, bring in that money, unfortunately. And uh, they've shot themselves in the foot rivet. They want to make money by making a £30 route, but uh, people aren't going to buy it when it's uh, in a bit of a state. So, yeah, that's my fault. Don't buy it. Not yet. I'd say pick it up on a very steep discount. Hopefully one day, you know, the timetable will be much, much better. Uh, hopefully a 68 will come along and improve things. And uh, once the um, 158 from Skyhook, the Scott Rail version, is available. And uh, plus also Rivet saying or promising that they're going to make the new Levin, is it Levinson branch? Levin branch? It's due to open this year. Um, you know, once if all that was to come to the five circle, maybe it would be worth your pounds and pennies. But at, as it stands at the moment, no chance. Absolutely no chance. If you compare it to uh, Dovetail's latest release, the uh, the London Overground Goblet line, yeah, the difference is massive. It's night and day. And that is just not right. But there you are. Right, I've been rambling on for so long. We're coming into Duisburg. <laughs> it's flown by. Duisburg of Bahnhof, everybody. All together now. <laughs> hey. At wrong time. Oh no, not. we're running late. Not too bad. I'll take a look at the chat in a second. I'll just uh, cruise up to the uh, red signal. Slow and steady. There we go. Much better. There we go. There we are. Arrival at Duisburg Hauptbahnhof. Right. Let's have a look at the chat. Um, uh, Samuel Smith. Uh, the scenery is decent. Ho ho. <laughs> But if you if you insist, uh, I personally think not. I think it's 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 not even as good as a uh, Scott Rail Express. But anyway, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Um, uh, ben Davis said, uh, "Wish they put the Class One Seventy on all the Scotland routes in the timetable." Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I've said that in my little monologue of the uh, Five Circle. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, Samuel Swift, uh, no problems. Uh, take care. See you next time. Uh, ben Davis, River Games, uh, done that 66 uh, pack for the Scott Rail Express. Not going to use them doing it in the first place. I mean, uh, I, I, 
I wouldn't personally bother um, picking up that uh, 66 pack for the Scott Rail Express, it's a waste of money. Uh, the type of wagons we already have in the game, we obviously have many variants of a 66 in the game, and uh, we have even we have a, a pink one livery that we have in the game on quite a few routes now, actually, on the uh, containers for intermodal services, be it in Germany, uh, the USA, and the UK. So that pack has no relevance to me whatsoever, no interest. But yeah, five circle. Yeah, what a disastrous start. That's all I could say. And it's 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 Rivet's fault, you know. They've shot themselves in the foot, and they're going to pay the price for it with probably very low sales. And rightly so. I think it's a bit of a wake up call for them. They've been pumping out some dreary content for far too long, in my personal opinion. You know, West Cornwall local was a shambles. A Rosa line, from a scenic perspective, was a shambles. Link Rhine uh, Espan Central Schweiz. Uh, the multiple unit was good, but the route was a shambles. It was far too short. The uh, Bernina line was a good looking route, and the multiple unit, the Allegra, was great, but the route's far too short. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get the right balance, it seems, with Rivet and their products. The only ones that were considered to be good and decent uh, is. Um, Scott Rail Express, even though the sounds on the 385 are terrible. Uh, the 2022 Isle of Wight uh, route, uh, and finally the DBBR 204. It's a great locomotive, but it doesn't have, well, hardly any services. It's only got seven. Heck, even a Class 08 and 09 shunting locomotive has more services than that. <laughs> Right, let's get this 101, let's take it out to plate. Uh, we will do a uh, passenger service from Bremen Hauptbahnhof to Oldenburg Hauptbahnhof, obviously. In real life, we'll be going from Leipzig Hauptbahnhof to Emden Hauptbahnhof. So uh, let's do that. Uh, put some cloud, I think. Yeah, that'll do, happy days. Right, let's go. But yeah, if River want more money, they're going to have to start putting a bit more effort into their products. It's as simple as that. All right. Welcome to Bremen, Hauptbahnhof. We are in Bremen, right? Yeah. Lights reduced. Instrument brightness, we'll set that to maximum. LED brightness. There we are. Störung. Störung. Right, let's uh, change the signal lights. was on this route on Friday recording some videos for the for next week or well, this week coming up here's Bremen Hub Bahnhof wonderful station a buzz of activity you've got one tens here and you've got one tens there and another intercity service in the corner it seems oh no my bad it's a uh, one four six. That yard could be a bit more busy. Well, could be filled with stuff. It's got a few stuff out here at the back, but uh, not as many as I'd like. We'll just uh, wait to depart. Then we will head off to uh, Oldenburg. Shouldn't take too long. 
It's quite a short uh, route. It's not my favourite one, Bremen Oldenburg. I just don't think it's a very interesting driving experience. I find it a little bit dull, personally. But there you go. Here we are. I only picked it up uh, for the services. Withdraw from Bremen. Oh, there's another train. See. Uh, ben Davis said, what do you think of the new London route? Hope in the future they add the Class 700 in the timetable. Uh, new over, overground? I don't know. Um, I haven't picked it up. Uh, I haven't got it. So uh, I can't say um, what it's like. Uh, from a game, from a you know gameplay perspective, uh, what I can say is that uh, I've said from you know ever since that route was announced is that I think it's far too short. It would have been nice if they added another London line alongside it, but it would make it feel more of a you know uh, a meatier, let's say, a bigger experience. Uh, maybe even off London line. I think they could have added on to the uh, to the Goblin line, but there you are. That has not happened, so there you go. Uh, but as far as the class 700 and the timetable, uh, I thought Dovetail already added a 700 to the timetable, albeit VAI runs the services on the uh, East Coast Main Line. So I think the 700 is on, you, you can. CV700 in operation on the overground, albeit on the East Coast Mainline section. Uh, as far as playable services go, uh, obviously you can't play a 700 on the overground, on the Goblin Line, because uh, it doesn't do services on the Goblin Line in real life. Right, the uh, first station stop is Delmanhorst. Uh, it's 12 kilometres away. thing that does irritate me about Bremen Oldenburg is the frame rate. I think it's incredibly poor for a route that's only, uh, what, 24 miles. It's roughly the same length as uh, Tees Valley. And whilst I think scenically this does look better than Tees Valley, um, I just don't think it's very enjoyable. Oh, you've got a pirate ship. A pirate ship, what am I saying? Uh, an old boat. A red one, a big red boat. Uh, scenically, it's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's it's okay. It's a, it's a little. Well, it's like a museum ship. It's not made very well, but uh, there you go. Another intercity service. Wheel spin again. I oh, root game struggling then for a second. Didn't like that section of route at all. The sooner we get to Delman Horse, the better, I think. <laughs> uh, but also, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, you can use the 101, I think, on uh, the new German route. 
recently released the uh, Salzburg Rosenheim that does look actually uh, quite interesting so yeah if you were to ask me in order uh, what routes I would be looking forward to purchasing even though a few are out in the open and one soon to be released I'd say um, I'd say Semmering Barn is number one for me uh, Barnstrucker Salzburg Rosenheim will be second the Overground will be third and Fife Circle will be going instead last unfortunately I, you know I'm gutted for that route really am I was really looking forward to it and you know, I thought, you know, when Rivet, Rivet's last route they made, the Bernina line, and the route before that, the uh, Scott Rail Express, they weren't brilliant. Of course, they weren't. These were the games we're talking about, but it was a step forward from what they've made in the past. You know, the Erosa line and uh, the uh, West Cornwall locals. So I did have a bit of hope for it to maybe have the level of quality that Rivet have produced on the last two route releases, but. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, it's not to be the case. And that's a big, big shame. There we are. Just over six kilometres to go until we reach Delmanhorst. 363. Having some fun with the coaches. I mean, what's irritating, you know, when it comes to Rivet Games now is that because they've, you know, not only stupidly gave Dovetail Games the wrong build to preview a, a route to the general public, but, you know, now they've come out and said, well, the, you know, the, the, the version that we're going to be shipping the route with is much better than the one we showed in the previous stream. I mean, uh, I don't. You don't know whether to trust Rivet Games or not. They might just be telling a bunch of porcupines just so you can, you know, uh, pre-order it on Steam and generate that revenue for Rivet. So uh, I don't know. I mean, we have honestly, uh, we have no idea what this newer version of a Five Circle Line is going to be like. Like, is it going to be worse from you know a stability perspective? You know, frame rate is is it? going to mess up some areas of the route that were good in the previous build that was shown is the versions that uh, is the section to the route that looked crap in the preview build going to be even worse you, you, you just don't know do you it might be better but will it be good enough that's that's the question so yeah I wouldn't bite the bullet and uh, Uh, and uh, yeah, take away 30 or quid from uh, your bank account to pay for that route thank god uh, there was no pre-order for uh, playstation or um, xbox people would have been absolutely furious if they pre-ordered it on playstation and xbox because of course you can't cancel a pre-order on uh, xbox and uh, playstation pc you can i think um, yeah. Oops. That's my fault. Come on, let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going to keep going a second. We're ahead of schedule, so we should be fine. There we go. Uh, 
There we go. Still getting up to speed on this route, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> we'll keep going. I think we'll stop here. I think that should be fine. There we are. Here we are at Delmanhorst. I think the whole train fitted on the platform. It did, just. What's that noise over here? Uh, some sort of local industry. Something like that. got here? A bus depot. Mm. Doesn't look brilliant, but there you go. Right, it's time, let's go. Oh, there's a passenger that's glitching. It's a ghost. Right, V next down, final stop will be Oldenburg, Hubbard under 30 kilometers away. Uh, once this journey is completed, we will do uh, another service this time on the Verco Trist. We've got a bit more time to play with, a bit more time to kill. We will spin. This route is not good at all. No idea why. I mean, we're not even in rush hour, are we? It's uh, just coming up to ten past ten, so uh, I don't know what's going on with this route stability. Not very good. Not good at all. sip of my caramel swirl Costa coffee uh, as I'll say the usual YouTube shenanigans uh, whilst I'm at it uh, if you'd enjoyed the stream so far and you like what you see uh, feel free to like and subscribe also hit the notifications bell so you don't miss an upload or a next live stream from me uh, as far as the next stream is concerned, the next stream will be tomorrow on Monday the 25th of March 2024. This time we will be heading to the capital of the United Kingdom where we'll be operating some services on the London Underground Baker Blue Line. Looking forward to getting back on the Underground. Very nice. Oh, lovely. 
lovely jubbly. That was a very nice drink. Twenty-one kilometers to go until Oldenburg Hauptbahnhof. <coughs> right now, I'm full to the brim of caffeine and tea. <coughs> we'll continue. Good evening, Simon. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. Just uh, having some fun with the uh, DBBR 101, one of my favourite uh, German locomotives and train symbol. I'm just taking it for a spin on a variety of uh, German routes. I've done two services on the Hopstrecker Rheinruhr, doing a, a, an intercity service on Bremen Oldenburg, and shortly after the service is completed, we'll be doing a some more services on Neverka Dresden and then after that we will uh, finish up the stream on Schnellfahrstrecke Castle Würzburg hmm, excuse me so it's kind of like a little marathon that I've hastily put together in the last minute <laughs> wasn't planning to do uh, a 101 marathon if you like uh, you know just taking on different routes across Germany I was originally just going to do two services on Hopstrecker Rheinruhr with the 101 but uh, I thought eh, you know what let's uh, switch it up a bit you know have some fun instead of just doing uh, two different intercity intercity services on Hopstrecker Rheinruhr let's uh, on some intercity, intercity services on other German routes that, you, that are compatible with the 101. I was going to do Karl Arkham, but that one's in the middle of the night, so there's no point. Uh, Simon, I haven't picked this route for a while. It's quite good. Uh, Bremen Oldenburg. Uh, uh, it's a mixed bag at the moment, as far as I'm concerned. I think the route scenery is well, it's, it's, it's not too bad, personally, and the timetable is very good. Uh, the main problem with this route is, as you can tell, uh, the frame rate is all over the place. Uh, for a 24-mile route, um, I literally have, do not know why. The game is struggling to cope with... Um, the um, the roots frame rate, you know, it can't keep it consistent. 
it's just very very odd I mean um, it's stuttering uh, you know uh, pretty much what every minute every two one to two minutes um, and we're operating this service uh, way past the uh, rush hour period so I don't really know why it's struggling to cope with this uh, with this route I'm not sure um, uh, another thing about uh, Bremen Oldenburg which I don't kind of like is uh, it's, it's not really the route's fault it's just how it naturally is uh, the, to the, the topography of the route isn't as varied as, I, as I'd like it I like a bit of steep uphill you know I like to see more variation you know the undulations and all that you know steep ups and downs just make it a bit more challenging um, but you know I, I I don't have much to complain about um, Bremen, uh, Bremen Oldenburg when it when I first played it when I picked it up uh, just before Christmas in 2020 when did it come out 22 was it? Yeah, 2022. I wasn't a fan of it then because it was in a bug ridden mess, you know, destination display is not working, the cab car on the 110 being a disaster, and the route missing some various assets, you know, just railway infrastructure in general, which uh, isn't good, you know, missing wires, catenaries, signage, uh, being, uh, having some weird uh, pixelation issues and all that. Uh, but, you know, it's been, it's cleaned up. You know, it's been fixed since then, so that's good. Uh, the only problem with this route now is, is of course, the, the stability. Um, you know, the, the frame rate is all over the show, and I really don't know why, to be honest. Hopefully Dovetail can fix it, but, uh, you know, I've said that about Mule Trenton before. They put a patch out for it to try and improve the route stability, but... Uh, didn't really resolve the issue unfortunately. Ironically uh, the route, uh, you know, as far as frame rate goes, is actually pretty decent and Bremen hopped Bunhoff, you know, and you'd think that'd be the worst part of the route where the frame rate would take a nosedive. Because you know how busy uh Bremen Hop Runhoff is, you know, AI services, you know, scuttling in and out of the station, freight trains coming through, you know, then you've got the playable services on top of that. Um, you think it would be a nightmare, but it's actually not too bad at uh, Bremen or Banoff, I must say. It's it's better than it was uh, when I first played it um, over a year ago. No, no doubt about it. So power. We're running ahead of schedule, which is good. Just over three and a half kilometers to go. Um, Simon the Water 1 has good services in Rosenheim Salzburg too. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I, I was saying to ben, De ben Davis earlier, um, you know, about the routes that have recently been released or are coming up soon, uh, which ones I'm looking forward to picking up. Um, top of the list for me is a uh, Semmeringbahn. Second would be Rosenheim Salzburg. Um, third would be the London Overground Goblin Line and uh, sadly Dunstead last is the uh, Five Circle Line but uh, I'm not going to go on and have another rant about Five Circle I've already had a couple of very long monologues about the Five Circle I'm sure if you can uh, go back in the stream and uh, find me having a little rant about the Five Circle and my thoughts on it Going a bit too fast here. We're just coming across the main highlight of the route, the bridge and the water tower. We're going way too fast here. I better break. Otherwise I'm gonna get shot by the uh, by the game. Not liking what I'm doing. That's a loud electric locomotive. It just went past. That was loud. 
There's another one I want. I've seen uh, two of them. Two intercity services. That's what I like to see. Oh. It's got the wrong pantograph. Should be the rear. Oh, never mind. Uh, unless that is uh, two 101s, maybe. One at each end. I've noticed that recently on uh, Hamburg Lübeck. Might be the same on uh, Bremen Oldenburg. But uh, we're just cruising uh, to the uh, stopping point at Oldenburg Hauptbahnhof. We'll, we'll take a little look around, see what there is to see. That's the game. Uh, Shows its ugly head and crashes. Oh, yeah, there is one at each end. Ooh. Really, game? Wow, I'm surprised you're not happy with me where I've stopped. I thought that was okay, to be honest. I mean, we're, we're fitted just about on the platform. Ooh. I thought we'd be okay there, to be honest with you. Fair enough. The game's not happy, the game's not happy. Oh, he stopped perfectly. I'm surprised by that. Okay, fair enough. The game's not happy. The game doesn't like it. Fair enough. I'll just creep ever so slightly. Come on, keep going, keep going. And again. That'll do. There we go. Alright, welcome to Oldenburg. So, I'm confused by this. We've got a 101 here that's using its front pantograph, and then down at the other end there is another 101 that has its pantograph up at the wrong end too, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Unfortunately, we couldn't take a look at the... Uh, uh, what's around at the station because the game has kicked us out as we have finished the service so we will now move on to the next route which is Navoka Dresden um, uh, Simon is a great locomotive but sounds me that it lacks the full range of coaches uh, is this the 101 you're on about I suppose uh, it's got a couple of what's it called it's got first class coaches and well second class normal class coaches it hasn't got the cab car which I know a few people have wanted to see I personally don't mind that I like it without a cab car I don't like loco horde services that have a cab car at the other end for some very bizarre reason <laughs> it's just me being picky but um, but yeah I like the 101 the way it is as long as it doesn't break. Uh, where's the Burke Dresden? Have I even got it? It's right there, you fool. I'm going blind, I swear to God. Right, 101. Uh, uh, Intercity service curl to Dresden. Uh, for Dresden, yep, okay, we'll do that one. And then we'll do the short little stubby one in the Dresden area as well. So, uh, yeah, if you're in for a long haul of a stream, that's for sure, then uh, buckle up. It's going to be a long one. Right, let's prepare the unit for operation. Headlights reduced, excuse me. I've had a very busy day today. Um, but yeah, hope you're well, uh, Simon. Hope you've had a good weekend. See if I can find the headlights. There we are. See if there we are. I did do that one. Yes, I did. I'm not going insane, I promise you. Alright, here we are. Welcome to... 
visa. This is without doubt the best route in the game, there's no doubt about it. Brilliant route, arguably one of Dovetail's best routes that you could get. I mean, it's a lot of locos that is reused from other German routes, but you know, as a package overall, I think it's fantastic. What do you get? 363, a 146.2, the cab cars, the 185.2s, uh, the Talent 2. Um, and yeah, it's just a brilliant route, really. Really, really nice, enjoyable experience. Right, the first station stop is Dresden Neustadt. It's 42 kilometers away, the longest distance we've had so far. In between stops, so let's go. Uh, turn on the PZB and LZB to receive additional points. No, thank you. Not yet. I will turn on PZB and uh, see if, uh, LZB uh, on Curl uh, Castle Wurzburg. Why? Because it's because it's easy. <laughs> I might not. I might not turn it on. Wait and see. Um, Simon, you may have said before, but what did you think of the five circle line scheme? <laughs> I thought it was hilariously bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, not good, to put it simply. <laughs> yeah, what a shower of shit that was, that previous stream. I watched it, you know. It was the first time I actually engaged in a in watching a previous stream live. Um, what a waste of my time that was! <laughs> Just total embarrassment. Yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing, uh, I ain't going to be picking up the five circle line, unfortunately. You'll need a lot of uh, convincing uh, patches and updates to uh, yeah, even get close to me of picking it up on the discount. But as it stands, uh, I'm staying well clear of a uh, five circle line, unfortunately. many reasons as to why. I'm sure you can guess the reasons. Um, uh, Simon, everyone has been so negative and rightly so. Agreed? Agreed? You know? I mean, Rivet have shot themselves in the foot. You know, the criticism stops at their doorstep. For once, it's got nothing to do with Dovetail. They had, uh, I don't think Dovetail had a, a big hand in uh, the de development of the five circle line. I might have to change in the future, judging by uh, the horror show we had um, on the previous stream. Whoa. Oh, we've lost power. Close the circuit breaker. I've just suddenly lost power. There we go, we've gained it back. Yeah, but if uh, Rivet wanted to uh, 
make a bit of money from the five circle line then uh, yeah, their financial targets have been missed uh, by quite some way I mean, if Five Circle Line gets some, you know, low sales and poor reviews, then you know, that's what you get if you don't put enough effort into the into the package. You know, be it the route, the unit, the services, etc., and uh, you pay the price financially. You know, and uh, yeah, it's with his own fault. And even if the correct build that is going to be shipped with the five circle line is better, uh, you know, the, the damage is done, you know. They shouldn't have, you know, messed up the type of builds they were going to show in the previous stream. It's the only previous stream you were going to get to see. Uh, and, you know, for a lot of people, myself included, it was make or break, you know. You know, people were either going to get it or they weren't going to get it. And for me, after watching that, I ain't gonna pick it up. Absolutely no chance. No chance in hell am I going to get that route. Unfortunately, you know, that, that's that's the gut-wrenching thing. Because this was a route I was really looking forward to. And you know, judging by the two previous routes we've made, it was okay. You know, it was a damn sight better than a Rosa line and a damn sight better than West Cornwall local, the you know the Bernina line, even though it's too short, and the Scott Rail Express, which you know, the route is good, and the services are okay. It's just the 385 sounds are just terrible, but you know the route itself and the was a step forward. So the fact that River Games have gone backwards in such an alarming way you know, speaks volumes of how uh, rushed that route was uh, put together. But you know, like I said, uh, even if the new build is is better, uh, you know, it's it's too late. The damage is done, and, and there's no way back. Uh, I know they said that the services that weren't in the in the build are not going to be available at launch. They're going to patch it in or something like that. But you know, it's no bloody good. It should have been in from the start. Uh, yeah, not acceptable. I mean, for 30 quid, no chance. You know, the fact that the Train Sim Classic version of the Five Circle Line, a route that is now four years old, is superior in every department to the Train Sim World version that's going to be released four years later. Uh, yeah. That just, uh, yeah, that just tells you how shockingly bad the five circle line is from uh, Vivid Games. I really wish Dovetail made it now. They probably would have done a miles better job. And that says something. <laughs> so yeah, five circle line is definitely down the bottom of the barrel as far as I'm concerned. Semmering barn, you know, fingers crossed. I hope it's good. I really, really hope it is. Because I am looking forward to that. I've never looked forward to an Austrian or a German route as much as a Semmering barn. Don't know why, you know, it's just something in my heart and, you know, in my soul that says to me, yeah, I like the look of this route. Heck, just looking at the diagram, you know, of the route map, it just makes me think, yeah, that looks fun. So... You know, even though the traction is not what we want, I mean, uh, I do like the US, uh, US, uh, the ES64 Taurus. It's one of my favourite locomotives in the game. Um, and of course, you know, its service is operated by a locomotive, so it's uh, once again local hauled element of services, that style that I like. Uh, you know, it's coming together slowly. Uh, that hopefully, simmering down is going to be pretty decent. Uh, if, it, if it is better than the Espan Vorarlberg, fantastic. Is it going to be better than uh, Five Circle Line? Oh yeah, easily. Easily, by a country mile. Will it be as good as the uh, London Overground Goblin Line? Well, we'll wait and see. 
It's difficult to, difficult to compare those two routes. Uh, Goblin Line is a commuter style route set in North East London. And the other is a, uh, a longer, much longer route, uh, twisting and turning its way through uh, the Austrian mountains, aka a submarine barn. But it's almost like two routes in one, like I've said many, many times. A short, uh, not short, but a tricky, difficult, twisty, turny, mountainous section, and then you've got the kind of faster, more straightforward run to the finish line. So that's what I like about it, a mixture of challenge and, uh, and um, the, uh, the quality of the rolling stock, even though it's with you know, stock that we've had before. Uh, I do like it, so fingers crossed that route is good. If we do a preview stream that is aka the right build and looks good and sounds good and has all the right bells and whistles, 100% I will pick that up immediately. Of course, depending on what the price is going to be, it's probably going to be 30 quid. It might not, we never know. But uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Uh, we've got uh, just over 25 kilometres to go until Dresden Neustadt. Uh, ben, uh, not Ben Davis, Simon, sorry, apologies. Um, it's missing the cab car, the bistro, cafe, or restaurant, the open first class, and a few other second class variants. Uh, the bistro, cafe, and uh, restaurant. Thinking of cafe and restaurant, uh, the one I won uh, does that have like a cafe or um, a buffet style element in one of the uh, coaches uh, at the moment? Might be thinking of the wrong type of coach. I'm just thinking. I swear, like there was a, a section on one of the second class coaches which has like a buffet style element to it. I might be completely wrong, but uh, I'm just thinking, maybe maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> uh, Cyber inter intercity services with these uh, coaches are uh, massively reduced since this year, so it would be nice to recreate them properly, indeed. Uh, do you mean uh, when you say intercity services, is that Deutsche Bahn or uh, Osterreich Bundesbahn, aka OBB? I mean, steadily they've been adding uh, more and more options for the 101 uh, to be usable. It's not the right sentence, I suppose, where what you're saying. Uh, it is nice to see more surfaces added to the 101's portfolio. That was the right interpretation I was going for. Um, uh, you know, what is it? We're going to have the new timetable of uh, Kerl Arkin, so there's bound to be some, uh, well, more than one service for the 101. Obviously, uh, you've got some services on Hamburg Lübeck, a, a couple of them, I think. Uh, you've got loads on. Vuka Dresden on um, Bremen Oldenburg, uh, Castle of Wurzburg. Uh, what's the other route I'm missing? I'm missing another one, aren't I? Um, Bremen Oldenburg, if I haven't said that already. And hopefully, um, if München Augsburg was to get a, a timetable overhaul, uh, Logically, uh, the 101 should make an appearance on that route's timetable, but of course we'll have to wait and see. And then, like you said, Simon, earlier, the um, Adeny, uh Bahnstrecke Salzburg Rosenheim route, uh, which the 101 is also usable. Uh, it's a nice collection of uh, uh, journeys you can do with the uh, 101 now. More of a merrier, because uh, I think this 101 is. A brilliant locomotive. Right, we are 
Oops, that's the wrong button. My mistake. I was about to say, uh, we will soon be reconnecting with the slow line. We're currently on the first fast line. And this is the, that's the city of Dresden down there. Uh, Simon Dovetail deserves some criticism too. They could have stopped it rather than grinning through the stream of a product that he must have known was crap. I mean, who knows? Uh, I mean, Matt clearly didn't realise what was going on because uh, he looked embarrassed and uh, quite depressed, you know. I mean, I was just sad, you know, just looking at it and hearing, you know, the questions, mainly having an answer of no more rather than a yes. Um... So, I mean, I, I felt sorry for Matt Peddleston, especially, you know, when he tried to get the announcements to work. Um, and the fact that, well, he couldn't operate the announcements because in that build, the announcements weren't there. So, thank God that that version that was shown in the previous stream, that build of the five circle line isn't being shipped uh, to the public uh, next week. Uh, or this week coming, I should say. Um, so that's something. But uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, to me, I think it, it, it must have caught Dovetail by surprise. Um, otherwise, they would have, you know, they would have postponed the stream like at least a few hours in, in, in advance. So uh, I don't know if Dovetail is, you know, subject to uh, or deserves some criticism. You know, ultimately, it, it's not their product. It's, uh, it's River Games' product. So, 100% uh, of the blame for me, personally, lands right at River Games' door. It's got, for once, you know, it's not Dovetail's fault. Maybe you could blame Dovetail for the organisation of the previous stream, as it is on their official channel, but uh, as far as the product itself, it, it, the buck stops with Rivet. They made it, they created it, they shipped that build to Dovetail to showcase. So for me, uh, it's entirely uh, Rivet, uh, to, it's entirely Rivet's fault. Simple as that. You could say both of them is to blame, but uh, it's for me it's Rivet Games, 100%. Maybe Rivet should ask Dovetail to collaborate them more. Uh, and certainly for future routes, that has to be uh, that idea has to be put on the table because if Rivet is going to keep pumping out content that looks like that in latter stages of development, then uh, something is very, very wrong behind the scenes. Either I don't know, Rivet is losing people, or they're not investing in enough people, or maybe their team just can't cope with making these, I suppose, ambitious projects, you know, like the Five Circle. I mean, Five Circle isn't, uh, excuse me, isn't small, you know, it's, uh, it's altogether, what is it, 52 miles? You know, it's, it's quite a big route, you know. It's... I don't think it's quite as big as uh, Salzburg Rosenheim, but uh, you know, still a pretty sizable route, certainly from what we've been used to um, in the last few months. You know, if you're short, stubby, 24 odd mile routes here and there. just about to uh, join up with the slow line so hopefully uh, well the traffic's definitely going to get a bit more lively as we're getting ever closer to the city of Dresden uh, Simon yeah there was a uh, bistro cafe uh, half in oh yeah first class oh that's all right that brain does work well for me at times <laughs> Um, 
retired. They were retired last year with uh, and four restaurant cars, which were retired from intercity trains a long time ago. All oh, right, I see. Uh, thinking of real life, there are fewer one-on-one -on -one intercity services in real life since this year. It's a shame, isn't it? Such a, a modern classic. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe uh, Deutsche Bahn should ship uh, the 101s that they don't want, ship them over to the UK. I'm sure the uh, English public would love to have them. I would. <laughs> I'd happily have a 101 in place of a Class 800 any day of the week, especially the GWR variants. <laughs> Uh, touching on the GWR briefly, uh, they've been running, doing some tests. Uh, they're running a few uh, 800 units to uh, which station was it? Uh, London Euston. Obviously, uh, I think the route into Paddington will be uh, closed for a few months later in the year, um, as uh, HS2 construction will be uh, taking place uh, at Aldo Common. So I think uh, the main line into Pennington, uh, the, you know, Elizabeth Line and GWR and whatever, and whatever services are uh, used that line will have to obviously uh, uh, go somewhere else. I'd laugh if that happens at Christmas time. I won't be at all surprised. Let's pick up the pace. We've got uh, just over, just under two and a half minutes to go. Slacking a little bit on the speed, so let's get up to speed. Simon I will miss travelling on them so would like to recreate it on the train sim world well hopefully that opportunity will arise for you I'm sure it will uh, Simon Dovetail should be able to say no you're not releasing that for, uh, for our product go back and do it properly but they don't seem to be no I don't know why to be honest uh, that is an interesting point occasionally they uh, was it Skyhook uh, we delayed the release in the middle of mainline didn't they uh, and actually speaking of it they delayed didn't they the uh, initial release for West Cornwall Local simply because uh, we weren't sure where the hell the route was going to end up it was either going to I think originally it was meant to go to Truro, uh, Penzance to Truro, after St Ives branch line and maybe the Falmouth branch line, but obviously that part of the project was canned and uh, decided to extend it up to St Austell, which was a very weird station to terminate the in-game route, but there you are. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why. Uh, maybe things are already set in stone you know as far as uh, you know pre-orders and uh, discussions maybe with other external partners you know uh, PlayStation Epic Games and Xbox saying look this is what we're going to release next week get ready for it certification processes and all that kind of stuff um, so it may have been maybe too close to the original release uh, window that's probably why maybe Dovetail can't pull the plug on Five Circle and say to Rivet, you've got to push it back a couple of weeks or something like that. I think uh, if Five Circle sells poorly, I, I reckon, uh, well, 
What I think should happen is I think Rivet should be uh, cut from uh, Train Sim World. Maybe as far as routes go. Loco add ons? Maybe not. But roots, definitely. Uh, it's just been far too inconsistent as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, an Intercity Express. That's nice to see. You know, it's always. It's like Rivet just struggles to get the balance right. You know, sometimes they have a great multiple unit, but the route is either too short or just not good enough, you know, as far as services or the scenery. The next minute they have a pretty decent route, but there's always something wrong with the multiple unit, like the sounds aren't right, the physics aren't right, whatever. Um, and it seems that the you know the 170 on the uh, five circle is actually not too bad. It's definitely an improvement from what I um, when I first experienced uh, seeing the 170 in the game. Uh, you know that preview video that. Um, Rivet released the first time around. That was a shambles. On 70, but you know, since then it's been cleaned up and uh, actually sounds not too bad. Just sneak up to the stopping point. We are ahead of schedule. Oh no, we're not running late. Oh dear. <laughs> Never mind. Stopping point there. Okay, let's stop here. Here we are, Dresden Neustadt. Just uh, wait for the passenger boarding procedures to finish. Then we will set off once again. Um. Uh, Simon, unfortunately, the one ones can't fit on the tracks. Our tracks, a couple have been sold, but many scrapped. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe take one or two, maybe, and repurpose it for UK operations. That'd be that'd be amazing if we could have that. Right, that's Dresden Neustadt. Let's proceed to the next uh, and final stop, which is Dresden Hub. <laughs> Go. What a lovely sunny day. Ignore the wheel spin. It does that. <laughs> there we are. Crossing over the river now, the river Rhine. Yeah, some of the landmarks on uh, this route is very well put together. I think uh, even the uh, Trains in Classic version of uh, Risa Dresden, that wasn't too bad either. And the fact that they've extended that route with, uh, was it going from Risa to uh, Leipzig. Uh, that's even even better. I wouldn't be surprised if we get an extension like that in Train Symbol. Risa to Leipzig and maybe stitch it all together like uh, Dovetail did with uh, Southeastern High Speed. Sie 
Sifa. Sifa. Zugbeeinflussung. I mean, this route technically has an extension, albeit a separate one, like going from uh, Dresden to Chemnitz. But imagine if you could have. Imagine you could do a journey going from Leipzig to Dresden and then do another journey going from Dresden to Chemnitz. That'd be insane. That'd be really cool. I think. People probably won't give a shit about it. <laughs> You're bound to get people saying, oh, we don't need this, we need more UK routes, we need more of this, we need more of that. Eh, I don't mind. I'm flexible. When it comes to, uh... Different countries and what I like to see and so on and so forth. What's cool about Dresden or Banoff is that you've got the uh, lower platforms and uh, higher platforms. We're obviously stopping on the uh, upper platforms, aka the ones at the side. And the ones in the big main uh, part of the terminus, the middle, that's where the uh, Regional uh, Nestbahn services and uh, Regional Express. Uh, that's where they end up. I always think that's a tight squeeze uh, on this track. So close to the wall. Too close. Now I'll check when we come to a stop. I want to see just how close we are to the wall because that looks really close. <laughs> so close. Uh. I don't care if we're late as long as we are. As long as I've made it to the finish line, that's all that matters to me. Anyway, well, how long has the stream been going on for? Uh, an hour and fifty-three minutes. I don't think I don't think I'll be able to do. Uh, uh, Castle Würzburg. So I think I will call it a day here. Got a freight service, it seems, on the right hand side. Right, I want to have a look. Oh, can't see. Uh, okay, it's not as tight as I thought it was. It's a it's a it's a squeeze but it's it's not clipping the wall which is something. Okay. Right. That's the uh, that's the freight side of things chugging away. I haven't seen any Vectrons. That's something I've noticed. Right, let's have a peekaboo over here. Just uh, the town at two, sitting on its own, sitting pretty. And over here, and we got just the freight. Ah, there it is. There's the Vectron. Oh, beautiful machine. Love it. That's my go-to freight locomotive for German and, and mainly, well, mainly German freight services, but also uh, Austrian and maybe Swiss routes if they're used on those routes. Uh, Simon Dresden Hauptbahnhof is a beautiful station, Neustadt too. It's a great city. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, his historically, you know, uh, the architecture, the culture, uh, and you know, any amount of. Um, experiences you can do there you know be it museums and uh you know shopping and you know the architecture it's not a bad city at all underrated city in uh, germany uh dresden london overground out now
still waiting for a discount on that Blackboard Branches route. I don't think I'm ever going to get a discount on that route. I might have to uh, just uh, pick it up at full price, unfortunately. Just waiting eagerly for a, a discount on that route. Um, but yeah, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes this stream. A little marathon, if you like, uh, on... What do we do? Uh, free routes in the end? With the DBBR 101, tackling the Volker Dresden, Bremen Oldenburg, and Harpt Strecker Rheinruhr. Uh, if you'd enjoyed this stream, uh, of course, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, so you never miss an upload or a live stream from me. The next live stream will be tomorrow, on Monday, the 25th of March 2024. And. Uh, in that stream, we'll be heading to the UK capital of London, and we're going to be doing some services on the London Underground Baker Loo line. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.